What's up, YouTube? Slowly making process on this archway. I got the letters cut out. And then what I'm gonna do is, it's very flimsy right now. Should have probably made it out of like thicker foam. Cause I think this is half inch. Probably should have made it thicker, but we live and we learn. I ran my LEDs in there. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop a hole in the corner to run the wiring out on that side and that'll hook up to one pillar and then on the other side I'm gonna do the same thing and I gotta glue this onto that but where I screwed up is I didn't make my frame I didn't take into consideration the thickness of the PVC pipe I should have added like about another three inches from this pole to this pole I should have made it about three inches taller so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end up probably attaching this with tape for now and then taking the Dremel and then Dremeling out some notches into the PVC pipe so I think I'm gonna do see how that all turns out and then I'm gonna put um, the way I did the stenciling on here was I'm cheap I don't have a printer that would print big letters like that so I just Google searched it on my uh, my PlayStation on my TV and then I just put a piece of paper on the TV drew the letter out on the paper taped the paper well then I cut the letter out so I actually had a paper letter like a paper E or a paper T and then I positioned it on here where I wanted it that's why you see and then I taped it and I put little pieces of tape on it it's just scotch tape to hold it and then I took um, some white paint on a roller and just lightly ran over it over the paper pretty much covered the whole thing with paint let that dry up and I pulled the paper off and then I had my pink letter there and then I just took a uh, what's it called a um, soldering gun not an iron a soldering gun those work way better for cutting out foam and then um, carved it out the R I kind of messed up on so I'm gonna have to attach because once it's almost loose, but I'm gonna lose this center part. But I'm gonna have to glue a, uh, a piece of foam on the back right here, right, right here, and then attach that to that over there to hold that center part of the R. But once I hard coat it, it should be a lot less flimsy. Hopefully, I'll get it done, get it done today, and have it all wired. So I could do a night video of it, see how it looks. All the yellow stuff is just uh, great stuff foam. Sandwiching the pink stuff, the pink foam to the PVC pipe. And just makes it adhere. I had a couple of blowout spots like that and that. But it's really not that big of a deal. Just gotta let it dry up. Then we just carve it back out. It's not turning out too bad so far. Just have to dry lock it. All right, I got that uh, the foam edges, the, all that yellow foam cut all out. It's starting to look like something now. I ran a coat of plaster on it, but I gotta let that dry up. And then after the plaster all dries up, I'm going to dry lock the whole thing. And then after it's dry locked, I can go and hook up my, my wires there. And then the other set of wires that are on the other side over there to my pillars. And then hopefully the whole thing will work. All right, finally finished the archway to the Pillars of Fate. Kind of like it. I can always change the color in it, the LEDs and stuff. I would change a couple things in it. I would definitely, uh, on the corners, 
of the archway I would make it lower by at least six inches or so and I like the way the skulls turned out too in it you can change the color these things are really bright that's not too bad proud of that build thanks for watching